Okay. Okay. So, dear uh, brothers and sisters uh, in Christ, uh, so we thank our uh, Heavenly Father and the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ uh, for uh, giving us uh, yet another opportunity uh, to meditate upon his wonderful words of life. So last week, uh, we saw an important class about uh, uh, ransom, how Jesus is the world savior. So today, uh, we are going to see a subject uh, called as three worlds in the Bible. Now, everybody might wonder, what is this uh, three worlds? Is it uh, there in the Bible? Yes, uh, if you see, the Bible speaks about uh, three worlds. You see, the Bible speaks about the first world, the Bible speaks about the second world, and the Bible speaks about the third world. And the first world, in the Bible, it is called as the world that was. And the second world is called as the present uh, evil world. And the world to come, that is the third world. So let us read a few verses uh, about the first world, about the second world, and about the third world. So let us read Second Peter, third chapter, five to six, brother. Please, Second Peter, third chapter, five to six. Can somebody read in English? Dear Bhutan, you are there? Okay, yeah. I got it. Ah, okay, please. Second Peter chapter 3, verse 5 and 6. Ah. For this, they willingly are ignorant of that by the word of God, the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water. Verse 6, whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water, there is. Very good. So the world that then was perished. Uh, by the uh, water, uh, it says. Therefore, uh, this is uh, about the first world, dear brethren, where uh, the first world was destroyed by the waters. Okay. Now, let us read about the second world in uh, Galatians 1.5. Galatians 1.5, brother, please. Uh, can somebody read? Galatians 5 1, stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ had made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Ah, no, no, sorry, Galatians 1 4, brother. Please okay. forgive me. Galatians 1 4. Who gave himself for our sins that he might deliver us from this present evil world according to the will of God and our Father? Mm. See, the present. Uh... Evil world. Uh, uh -huh. uh, see, now the world that is is called as the present evil world. So, there is a world that was and there is a present evil world. So, let us read about the world that is to come uh, in uh, Hebrews 2.5. Nehemiah, brother, can you read? Do you have the Bible? Brother Nehemiah or Brother Suraj? Sir, I didn't have Bibles. Okay. Uh, Suraj, brother, do you have the Bible with you? Uh, I have, but I have in Nepali. You have in Nepali. Okay. Mm, can you read? In Nepali, can you read? Okay. Hebrew 2 5. Ah. Hebrew two five. Ah, so here it says uh, the world to come, uh, God did not uh, treat under the angels. That means there is a world that is going to come in the future, and that is not uh, under the subjection of the angels. 
this clearly proves yes. that there is a world that is going to come okay so we have the three worlds uh, in the bible the first world the second world and the third world about the three worlds it is given in the same chapter of the bible in second peter uh, third chapter so you can read that uh, verses also we will read once again those verses second peter third chapter verses 5 to 7 first uh, 2023 brother do you have english bible can you read 2023 may i know your name brother or sister okay uh, ashish brother can you read brother if you don't mind second peter 3 5 to 7 but this they willingly are ignorant of that by the word of god the heavens were of old and the earth is standing out of the water and in the water whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water there is but mm. the heavens and the earth which mm. are now mm. by the same word are kept in store mm. reserved unto fire against mm. the day of judgment mm. and perdition of ungodly men ah so you see it says the world that was was perished by the water so the first world as per the scriptures it says it was destroyed by the water and the present evil world it says it is going to be destroyed by fire and what will happen after this one the third world will come about that one read verse 13 brother read verse 13 Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for a new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. Aha, uh -huh. you see, we look for a new heaven and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. So, we have, you see, the three worlds in the Bible. So, first of all, let us study the first world. So, in this verse, if you clearly observe, it tells. The first world was destroyed by the waters, the flood. And we all know that there was a great flood that is mentioned in the Bible that actually, you see, came during the days of Noah. If it came during the days of Noah, it means that the first world actually existed before the flood. So, it must definitely be from the creation of Adam till the flood of Noah. So, initially, what did God uh, create? You see, in the Bible, it says that God created the heavens and the earth. And, uh, you see, and uh, the heavens mentioned here is not uh, the literal, uh, uh, you see, heaven, the abode of God. But uh, it actually speaks... Uh, about uh, the earth uh, atmosphere and it also speaks about the uh, universe. It not doesn't speak about uh, the abode of God where God himself is living. You see, dear brethren, because uh, the Bible says uh, that, uh, you see, uh, our God is in heaven. If he is there, then uh, surely there must be a place for him. So it can't be, you see, uh, created when the earth was created. So when the Bible says that the heaven and the earth was created, it means it is something related only to the earth atmosphere. That's what uh, David says uh, in Psalms 19 chapter, verse 1 to 3. Read, brother. Ashish, brother, can you read? Psalms 19 chapter 1 to 3. The heavens declare the glory of God and the firmament, so it is handy word. Day unto day author of speech and night unto night, so it knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Oh, you see, heavens declare the glory means which heavens? Sir? Can we see heaven where God is sitting? No. What is that we see up above in the sky? The stars, dear brethren. This speaks about God's glory. That's what David says. The heavens declare the glory of God. The firmament showeth his handiwork. 
you see dear brother and therefore in the bible actually if you see that word heaven it has got uh, three meanings the first meaning is the uh, where god himself is staying the second meaning is the outer universe and the third meaning is this uh, earth uh, atmosphere therefore if you have uh, various translations of the bible you can compare and see that uh, some uh, places the sky the word sky is used okay in the first world after creating uh, the earth uh, making it as a habitable place for man the earth uh, was beautifully created and god created adam and eve in his own image dear brethren he was so beautifully created uh, that uh, he was perfect in god's sight uh, and during those days uh, you see they were all uh, so beautiful uh, even uh, the bible says that uh, all the human beings uh, were so fair to look at and uh, what happened uh, was that uh, you see mankind uh, used to live for a period of more than 900 years uh, adam lived for 930 years noah for 950 years yare the 962 and the most maximum of all was methusale who lived for 969 years dear brethren what food they were eating in the first world to have such a life you see huh what does the bible say let us read genesis 129 and see brother genesis 129 and god said behold i have given in every herb bearing seed which is upon the face of all the earth and every tree in the which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed to you it shall be for meat aha uh -huh. you see it says i have given you every herb bearing seed as food fruit you see meat unto you so that was the food so mankind in the first world did not eat uh, non vegetarian at all they were all pure vegetarian they were eating uh, you see herbs uh, fruits uh, you see that's what the bible clearly says okay man can eat uh, pure uh, vegetarian so what about the animals uh, animals at least they should be carnivorous uh, they would have eat uh, you see flesh uh, in uh, the first world no what does the bible say let us read genesis 130 Genesis one thirty, brother, please. And to every beast of the earth, and to every fowl of the air, and to everything that creepeth upon the earth, wherein there is life, I have given every green herb for meat, and it was so. Aha! Uh -huh. I have given every green herb for meat, for food, even for the animals, even though the most wild animals in the first world, they actually ate. Uh, you see, pure vegetarian. Okay, was there rain in the first world? What does the Bible say? If you see, there was no rain in the first world. Also, let us read Genesis two five, brother. Genesis second chapter fifth verse. Hope, brother Nehemia and brother Surajja, you are opening your Nepali Bible or you are concentrating on the points which I am telling. Yes. Okay, sir. Genesis two two five, and every plant of the field before it was in the earth, and every herb of the field before it grew, for the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the earth, and there was not a man to till the ground. I mean, ah, God had not caused the rain on upon the earth. It seems there was no rain at all, dear brethren, in the first world. Okay, then how was the you see the plants? Uh, the trees how uh, was land uh, water uh, why if uh, there was no rain the bible says that a mist came out uh, and it watered the entire face of the earth dear brethren so let us continue with continue the same verse verse 6 you can read from the display genesis 2 6 but, but there went up a mist from the earth and watered the whole face of the ground uh -huh. amen and watered the whole face of the ground there was mist uh, you see nowadays uh, early in the morning uh, you see if you wake up and see i, I think in your place is a uh, lot of uh, mist is there in nepal and all but if you come to india only dust will be there huh eh? see what is there early in the morning if you wake up huh eh? water droplets upon uh, leaves and all this is a mist uh, dear brethren so this is how 
all the plants and trees were uh, watered in uh, you see the first world then what was the secret that uh, man lived for so long period why there was no rain why everybody were eating only pure vegetarian what actually what special thing was there in the first world this is very important so let us read what special thing god had created on the second day read genesis first chapter verse 6 and 8 brother slowly we'll read and go brother please brother and god said let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters and let it divide the waters from the waters okay one minute and... one minute we'll one by one go so here it says god said let there be firmament in the between of the waters in the middle of the waters let it divide the water systems so there were water systems the water was supposed to be divided it seems okay and in the middle there was a firmament it seems so firmament was supposed to be there and uh, two waters were to be separated it seems okay now what are this uh, two uh, waters that were separated continue brother now let us read ha huh? and god made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament and it was so very good brother. and one minute brother and... one minute one minute brother we'll understand this one and further continue okay 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 sir thank you brother thank you so it says god divided the waters which were under the firmament it seems see under the firmament water was there it was divided from the waters which were above the firmament so there was a water above there was a water below correct na huh? now you tell me which is the water that is below on the earth surface which is that water brother nehemiah brother suraj brother which is that water i think that is uh, c very good brother excellent correct absolutely correct that's a c very good so what is the water which is above vapor padam pa- brother vapor 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 now where is vapor can we see the vapor where is it we can't see that vapor but i think maybe we can see on the sky ah yeah maybe that uh, that thing call that uh, when it rains maybe that is ah you see cloud cloud very good very clouds okay now you continue reading that verse brother from where you stopped continue brother ah okay sir hmm. and god called the firmament heaven and the evening and the morning were the second day ah. amen see so what did god called the firmament he called the firmament as heaven it seems okay now kindly read the same eighth verse in nepali bible brother in nepali bible can anybody read brother verse 8 genesis 1 8 okay i'm going to read that ani parmeshwar le bhannu bhayo pani ka bich ma ek chhetra hos ra tesle pani lai dui bhag garos परमेश्वरले सो बनारलाई क्षेत्र बनाएर सो क्षेत्र मुनि र माथिको पानीलाई अलग अलग गर्नु भयो तब त्यस्तै भइहाल्यो परमेश्वरले यस अन्तरिक्षलाई आकाश भन्नु भयो साँझ पर्यो र बिहान भयो दोस्रो दिन अ फिनिश ब्रदर या अ ही सेज आकाश बनायो करेक्ट न ह गॉड क्रिएटेड आकाश करेक्ट न यस यस अ वेरी गुड ब्रदर सो there was a water below this akash and uh, water was above this akash it seems that means there was a water below the sky and there was a water above the sky it seems now tell me which is this water which is above the sky everybody tells but this is a cloud 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 no, no 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 this is not the clouds this verse clearly tells above the sky there was a water and this is not the clouds dear brethren because you see 
that akash that clouds only separated the water which is above from the water which is below it seems so what actually was there if you see it if then you see actually god had created a water canopy completely enveloping the earth so it was like this only you see the earth was there you see and in between there was a atmosphere what we have today the clouds uh, and uh, vapors uh, everything air oxygen everything was there there was only everything but on the top of it there was a literal water layer i'll prove to you just now in few minutes i'll prove to you okay so that's what the scripture says uh, there is a water below the sky and water above the sky so god separated these two waters and uh, called that firmament called that gap as sky therefore they then you see it was like this one you can see in the video you see that water canopy like glass cover you see the same way the water was completely covering the earth you see because of this one you see there is to be no harmful rays entering the earth you see and the one the you see uh, what do you say landscape uh, there was not a water and the clouds were there but above the clouds the entire uh, you see the globe was uh, uh, yeah, you see enveloped uh, with water it's like much of uh, uh, if you go to any international places and all no uh, singapore and all if you go you can walk inside the you see see huh? how there's a glass tunnel as you walk you see you can see all the sea creatures on the water will be there but you won't touch you why because uh, there is a glass canopy that is protecting above that canopy a lot of water there similarly dear brethren when the first world was created there was a water canopy because of this one no harmful waves ever came and hit the earth it was much excellent than our ozone layer it protected all the ultraviolet rays hence you see all the people of this earth was so beautiful and is that there... ozone layer huh? is that ozone layer ah yes this was above the ozone layer brother ozone layer was also there atmosphere ionosphere lithosphere everything was there above that one ozone layer was there above that one i am telling you similarly see today we can't see the ozone layer but that day in those days they could clearly visibly see that uh, water canopy you see so i'll show it to you everything is scriptures sir. okay now yes, sir. Uh, now what happened that is the reason man can live for how many years 900 years now it is very difficult to live 90 years itself somebody living 100 years government is will give you a golden award isn't it so but during those days 969 years then how did they live it was because of this protected environment the earth was like a beautiful controlled environment imagine if you are uh, if you keep something in the fridge will you get rotten no it is preserved because the environmental condition everyone so similarly mankind was so beautifully living under the vegetarian condition there was no knowledge knowledge there is no you see huh? all this uh, huh? meat and all but only vegetarian food man can still live for such a high life span then why did god destroy the first world what was the problem then there must be some problem no what actually happened let us see this important point in the first world when adam and eve were deceived by the devil you see god gave the opportunity to take care of mankind to the angels is it a, a biblical scripture is there any bible verse for that one yes read hebrews 2 5 brother kindly read hebrews 2 5 brother huh? you can read from the screen brother Unto the angels had he not put in subjection the world to come, whereof we speak. Very good. Unto the angels 
had he not put in subjection the world to come. What does it mean? It means that once upon a time, God had given the angels in charge of this world. Like for example, if uh, from tomorrow, Brother Nehemiah tells uh, that uh, I am not going to work from tomorrow, what does it mean? It means that I was working till yesterday. I was working in the past, but from tomorrow, I won't be working. That is what the scriptures say that God had once given the angels the in charge. And during those times, the angels were given a special privilege. We all know that angels are all spirit beings. They are not like a fleshly being. They are spirit beings. You see, uh, cherubs, uh, seraphims. Uh, you see, but in the first world, they were granted the privilege to come in the flesh. They could change over from the spiritual nature and come in the form of human nature in the flesh and live like human beings among the humans. And if they don't want, they can immediately return back to their angelic nature. This privilege God had given to the angels. Okay. But is there a proof in the Bible that the angels came in flesh? Yes. There is a lot of proof that the angels came in the flesh. Okay. Do Nehemiah brother or Suraj brother, do you remember that uh, any point of time did the uh, angels come in flesh brother? Do you remember? Is it? Uh, huh? Yes. Yes. I remember that. Yes. Very good. Can you tell me one example brother? Uh, when the Sodom and Gomorrah God wants to punish at that time to Sodom and Gomorrah at that time that three angels they came down. Very good. Excellent. That's what we see on the screen. Those three angels immediately first went to the house of Abraham. They ate. They came in the flesh. As human beings they ate the food. From there they went to the Lord's house and destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. Uh -huh. Very good. Excellent brother. Okay. Huh? Nehemiah, do you know in any incident uh, that uh, angels are coming in the flesh, brother? Nehemiah, brother, do you know any example, brother? No, sir. Uh, not a problem, brother. No problem. See, you can see in the screen. You see? Huh? What is there? Uh? Huh? Genesis, uh, Jacob. Yeah, Jacob, uh, Jacob fought the angel the entire can... night. Yeah, he did not leave the angel until he was blessed. Uh, Genesis 32 24 to 26. And Joshua, one day before, uh, you see, the destruction of Jer Jericho, he was walking around. Immediately, the angel of the Lord stood with a sword like a warrior. He thought he's a literal warrior, and he was asking, You are on our side or in the enemy's side? Isn't it? So, angels are manifested in the flesh. Why so many examples? There? Gabriel came and manifested to Daniel. Gabriel came and manifested to Mother Mary, telling about the birth of Jesus. So many incidents are there. The Samson's, uh, you see, parents, they saw the angel. So, uh, Elizabeth uh, and uh, angel uh, came and appeared to John the Baptist's father. So, examples are there, Zakaria. So, examples are there. The angels came in the flesh. But in the first world, when they came in the flesh, they saw this beautiful woman and married them. You see? So let us read that one. Genesis 6 2, brother. Genesis 6 2. That the Son of God saw the daughter of man that they fear, and they took them wives of all which they choose. Mm -hmm. You see, the sons of God. Who are the sons of God? Who are the sons of God? Human beings. Huh? These are not human beings. These are angels. Let us read Job 1. Job, first chapter. Job, first chapter, verse 6. Huh? Job 1, 6. Huh? Can anybody read in the Bible? Ashish, can you read? 
जॉब वन सिक्स इन नेपाली और इन इंग्लिश आई थिंक इंग्लिश शुड बी बेटर आफ्टर दैट वन विल रीड नेपाली आई डोंट हैव द इंग्लिश ओके नो प्रॉब्लम ब्रदर नो प्रॉब्लम आई विल आशीष बेटा विल ओपन रीड आशीष ब्रदर डू यू हैव द बाइबल विद यू कैन यू रीड जे आई गॉट इट जॉब वन सिक्स करेक्ट नाउ देयर वाज अ डे व्हेन द सन्स ऑफ गॉड केम टू प्रेजेंट देमसेल्फ बिफोर द लॉर्ड एंड सैटन किंग आल्सो अमंग देम हा सी The angels of God came before God's presence. Oh, human beings are. They all went to heaven with Satan. <laughs> you see, these are all angels. Now we read in Nepali, brother. Uh, Suraj, brother, read. Job one six, right? Hmm. One day, Surya and Dutaru, Param Prabhu, ko samne upastit uda. Satan pani tinor sanga ayo. स्वर्गीय पुत्र रीड जेनेसिस छोरा मानस का छोरी सुंदरी देखे अपना रुचि का पत्नी लिया परमेश्वर का छोरा छोरी छोरा छोरी छोरा छोरा मीन वाट sons correct no yeah huh? your nepal is like a little bit hindi huh? okay anyway you see dear brother so these are not human beings these are angels how i will show you one more one more verse is there see let me ask you one thing can angels marry are angels permitted to marry huh? can they have family no no I I no think. no correct no they are not permitted to marry read jesus tells matthew 22 30 brother matthew 22 30 hmm married hmm hmm for in the resurrection they neither marry nor are given in marriage but are as the angel of god in heaven hmm. but are as the angel of god in heaven so angels of god are not permitted to marry but when they came in the flesh and married this woman it was fornication in the sight of god read jude 17 brother read from jude 16 and 7 ashish sir can you read okay hmm. And the angels which kept not their first state but left their own habitation, he hath reserved in everlasting chains under darkness unto the judgment of the great day. Verse seven: Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after the strange place, wow. are set forth for an example, suffering wow. the vengeance of eternal fire. Very good. See, even as Sodom and Gomorrah. They went after strange flesh and committed fornication. Same way angels did the fornication. Okay. Now you tell me when the angels and uh, women blood got mixed, the children were born to them, and they were huge chains born. These dominated the entire earth and corrupted the earth. These dominated the normal human beings. you see and uh, you see ruled over them suppressed them you see he persecuted them and gave them lot of pain sufferings the entire earth was corrupt because of these genes how did these genes come it was a mixture of angelic blood and the human blood this was actually not god's will you see the brain this was fornication god had never permitted the angel to marry See, even an angel marries. What happens? Ah, you see, big, big, giant, 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 giant sphere born. Read with us. Genesis six, chapter four and five. With us. Genesis six, chapter four and five. Ah, uh, Suraj, brother, can you read from the screen? Our Nehemiah, brother, can you read from the screen? 
there were giants in the earth in those days and also after that when the sons of god came in unto the daughters of men and they bear children to them the same became mighty men which were of old men of renown hmm. and god saw that the weak wickedness of a man was great in the earth and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually aha uh is -huh. what is it say it says when the sons of god and came and married the daughters of men if these sons of god are human beings when human being marry human being will gents be one no that means the angels of god has married the daughters of uh, men hence who were born gents the men of renown you see in uh, great mythology we read about so many great uh, gents uh, suddenly they all disappeared very dreadful go it is given in the bible the bible gives us the only answer compared to normal human beings they were really more than 50 to 60 feet height they were then you see these are all called as nephilim sir do we have a proof for it yes sir. today a lot of excavations done and they found the bones and the skulls of this uh, giants you see you see the size of the skull is more than 6 feet and imagine the person how much height it would be because of these angels uh, and because of these uh, giants uh, the earth was totally corrupted dear brethren on the earth uh, who were ruling these giants were ruling in the sky who were ruling these uh, fallen angels were ruling who sinned against god uh, you see so what happened the first world got totally corrupt on earth giants in the sky who were ruling uh, the fallen angels so god decided to destroy this world now how did god destroy before destroying what did god do god selected noah and he told him to build a ark you see he built a ark for a period of more than 120 years and god told him to take all the animals with him by pairs now who can tell me how many pairs did noah take inside the ark who will tell me nehemiah brother suraj brother how many pairs of animals were taken inside the ark two two very good nehemiah brother what about you two very good brother excellent brother so let us read from the bible genesis 7 chapter verse 2 and 3 nehemiah brother can you read of every clean beast those shall take to three by sevens the male and his female and of beast that are not clean by two the male and his female of foals also of the year by sevens the male and the female to keep seed alive upon the face of all the earth now tell me how many pair two or how many pair how many pair suraj bazar did you observe how many pair ha huh? how many pair read again i think seven ha ah. how much brother seven seven are we huh? we tell only two why because from childhood you have seen the tv only photo we see <laughs> see what does the bible say not two seven of the clean animals unclean two why because no wanted to sacrifice to god if these clean any clean animals were sacrificed the generation will become less that's the reason god told take seven dear brethren this is how we read the bible for the bible bible is the dictionary here a little there a little then when noah was inside the ark what happened the great flood came there was a heavy rain for 40 days 40 nights now do you all remember was there any rain in the first world brother was there any rain tell me was there rain in the first world which saw no the mist came and watered the earth but was there rain in the first no, world no 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 there was no rain there was no rain but how did this rain come if there was no rain 
how did this rain come for 40 days, 40 nights? Read Genesis 7, 11 and 12. Genesis 7, 11 and 12. Suraj Buddha, read Buddha. You can see from the screen and read. Uh. The same day, uh, the same day where all the fountains of the great deep broken up and the windows of heaven were opened. What Buddha? What was opened? The windows of heavens were opened. Oh, that means there was a window. It was closed. Water was there. That yeah. window was opened. Which is that window? Huh? I think, I think that one. Uh, yes. We, the water we, can. Very good. We, the water canopy was there. This was broken. Once yeah, this, this broke, all the water which were, uh, you see, huh? around the globe, came in the form of rain for 40 days, 40 days. Imagine if it rains for only one week, uh, we keep on floods. A lot of floods, uh, tsunamis. 40 days, 40 nights means nobody has seen the rain till now. The entire earth was flooded with water. The canopy was destroyed. So what happened in that one? The giants who were born to the angels, they all perished. See, these giants had a gigantic body, but they never had the manifestation and demanifestation like the angels. Angels could change over from fleshly body to spiritual body. But this gift was not given to these giants. These giants, you see, were only in the flesh. They had to remain only in the flesh. They could never change over to spiritual body. So what happened in the flood? Da? The entire mankind was destroyed in the flood except Noah and his family. All the giants perished. So, okay, what happened to the angels, the fallen angels who were in the flesh now? Huh? Who came and have relationship with women? What happened to them? Once the flood came, they escaped. You see, they escaped in the angelic nature. Where did they go? Did they go to heaven? God did not allow them to heaven because they have fallen. They have sinned against God. So, where are they now? They are bound in the earth atmosphere. Read 2 Peter 2 4, brother. 2 Peter 2 4, brother. Nehemiah, brother, can you read? For if God spare not the angels that sin, but cast them down to hell and delivered them into chains of darkness to be reserved unto judgment. Delivered into chains of darkness. In darkness they are bound. What is this darkness? Dear brethren, this is earth atmosphere. Eh? Read Ephesians 2.2, 2, brother. Ephesians 2.2. 2. Somebody open from the Bible and read, brother. Ashish, brother, you read from uh, English. Any of you can read in Nepali, brother. Ephesians 2.2. 2. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Wherein in time past he walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, mm. the spirit that now walketh in the children of disobedience. Mm. The prince of the power of the air. Where is uh, Satan? He is in the air. Where are the fallen angels? He is in the air. Prince means what? Huh? Subordinate should be there. No, he is not alone. He and the fallen angels team are there. Now read this one in Nepali, brother. Nehemiah or Suraj, brother. Anybody can read in Nepali. Ephesians 2.2. 2. Can I read? Hmm. Read loudly, brother. I think your voice is quite very mild. In the name of this world, the world of the world, the world of the world, अनाग्य कारिता का संतान मा अईले काम गरने आत्मा अंसार ती मरो अगी एक पल्ट चल दे थी यो आका शिक्ति वो इस आका शिक्ति समसार कम आका शिक्ति इविल एंजल्स सा सी बाइबल बाइबल इस डिक्षनरी येर लिटल येर लिटल एने कोशन शुज सीक फ्रों दो बाइबल दिस इस what happened? Dear brethren, everything was destroyed in the flood. After 
the rain and all flood and all over noah came and mount ararat and came outside of the ark offered sacrifices to god and god made a covenant with him that was the first time a rainbow appeared in the sky and god told in genesis 9:13 that i have set my bow in the cloud and it shall be for a covenant between me and the earth ends forth i will never destroy the entire earth in a flood now dear brethren now let us come to the main point now we saw that the first world was destroyed now what do you mean by the world was destroyed was the globe destroyed was the little earth destroyed no because noah came out of the ark on the same on the same earth please remember on the same earth but a different setup it was the same globe you see the globe was never destroyed only the system was destroyed he landed on the same earth came out of the same earth a generation new generation came in dear brethren therefore in the bible earth means what world means what not literal this are all got figurative meaning let us read genesis 611 brother genesis 611 brother so nehemia brother can you read genesis 611 the earth also was corrupt before god and the earth was filled with violence ah earth was filled with violence it seems what is meaning of earth was filled with violence brother earth means what is it uh, stone is it rock uh, is it uh, plants trees huh eh? earth means what you tell me what does it mean it means uh, does it mean that uh, all the rocks mountains everything was filled with violence huh? what do you mean by the earth huh i'll tell you read john 316 you'll come to know there john 316 brother huh anybody can read the uh, from the bible you can read from nepali also very famous verse john 316 what does it say For God so loved the world, mm. that He only begot His Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Very good. God so loved the world, samsar. So, world means what? Samsar, not the globe. So, earth in the Bible means what? Samsar, not the globe. Aha. Therefore, Genesis 6-11. Read in Nepali, let us see. Nepali 6-11. Genesis, read with her. Suraj Buddha, read. Genesis 6-11 in Nepali. Suraj Buddha, you're there? Okay, Nehemiah Buddha, can you read? Uh. Genesis 6-11? Ah. Parmeswar ko dhrishti ma pirthi vi barashtra bhaye goro उपद्रवले भरिएको थियो पृथ्वी पृथ्वी मीन्स व्हाट नॉट द ग्लोब बट द सोसाइटी संसार सो व्हाट वाज फील्ड इफ यू सी ऑन द अर्थ एंजल्स रूल्ड द जेंट्स द जेंट्स एंजल सन्स रूल्ड हां ऑन हेवन हु वर रूलिंग शैतान एंड द फॉलन एंजल्स सो द फर्स्ट वर्ल्ड द हेवन वाज करप्ट द स्काई वाज करप्ट with all the final angels and the devil on the earth it was corrupted by these uh, jains so what did god do god destroyed this system you see dear brother god destroyed the system not the globe okay so therefore what happened in the flood all these jains died and the angels were bound so therefore dear brother this is the end of the first world please uh, go through the notes which we will be sending to you and uh, we will be sending the youtube link also please uh, listen to the youtube channel and subscribe to the channel 
any doubts any questions you please ask so god never destroyed the little earth the earth was there it is still there but the system the evil system of the angels and the jains were destroyed next the second world continued so what actually happened in the second world how is it going on what all things are going to happen we going to study in the next week okay so god bless so any questions any doubts you have you can ask brother anybody nehemia or suraj brother any questions any doubts you can ask in this uh, in uh, in this topic i don't have but uh, from the last topic of ransom i i just studying from that that pdf and i have that one question about that uh, uh how, from that part of the story that uh, uh eve was looking she was seeing that serpent was eating that forbidden fruit Hmm. but i didn't find that in bible so uh, how did it came so super I excellent question brother very good super question brother excellent question re genesis uh, uh did you attend the first class brother how to study the bible yes 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 good sir. good super genesis 4:10 please read genesis 4:10 ओके जेनेसिस फोर टेन पढ़ना प्रब्लम भन्न भो यो तैंने के करीस तेरे भाई को रगत ने भूमि बा मैं दुहाई दी रहे Ah uh, no, correct. But this is a biblical language, correct, no, brother? So blood doesn't speak, correct, no? Yes. So this is a figurative language. In how to study the Bible, what did you see? There are ten steps to understand the Bible. Ten languages. So yes. one of the language is figurative language, the symbolic language. What it actually says, the meaning is different. Like for example, now come. Genesis three one. Now you read Genesis three one. We'll see about the serpent. Hmm. Okay, three one. Hmm. Param Prabhu le Param Prabhu Parmeshwar le banon baiga ban pasu madhe sarpa sab banda durta thiyo. Tisle istri le bani ki Parmeshwar le timi aur lai bogai chaku kune puni rupko phal na kano bani banu baiko cha. Hmm. Now it says the serpent came and spoke to Eve. Uh, can the serpent speak, brother? Uh, actually, uh, nowadays it is not, not speaking. Uh, those days yeah. it is got wise. Now it has become dumb. Okay, can you increase your volume a little bit? I am not able to hear you. Okay. Okay. Ah, now super, very good. You may tell me, does the serpent speak? Uh, no. No. I think no. No. Okay. But any other animal speak? There in the Bible. <laughs> there we can find that uh, Balaam's donkey. Ah, Balaam donkey spoke. Angels spoke. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good, good thinking, brother. Very good. See, this is how the Bible speaks. See, this is not a literal serpent speaking in a literal way, telling to you, you did God tell not to eat the fruit? No, that is not the way. Actually, this serpent spoke. Actually, imagine here. Who was using the serpent? Actually, did say did the serpent come directly and spoke to Eve, or who was actually motivating the serpent? I think uh, de devil. Very good, brother. That is given in Ezekiel twenty-eight chapter. Okay. Now yeah. here, how did uh, uh, Satan uh, try to deceive Eve? Definitely not directly going and telling to Eve to eat the fruit. You know. There is a word. There is a proverb that says, "Action speaks louder than voice." Okay, brother. Yeah. See, yeah. some of the actions that speak very louder than voice than actually what we speak. Like for example, if uh, so many students uh, in the class are making lot of noise, if the teacher tells like this, what does it mean?
what does it mean if the, all the making noise in the school and if teacher tells uh, like this what does it mean keep silent very good see i did not tell you anything you yourself told the answer this is the way it is spoken imagine we are all uh, very alert and seeing the class hearing the class very alert suddenly if a snake comes before you what will happen to your mind what thoughts will come to your mind nothing will happen ah kashish if a serpent if a snake comes before you nothing will happen nehem your brother nothing will happen you won't think anything you will keep quiet let the serpent go i will keep on listening in the class ha huh? some thoughts will come to your mind or not yes yes it comes it comes though you won't get up though you don't want to disturb anything thought will come ayyo oh, why this snake has come where it is going what it will do uh, what shall i do to the serpent this thoughts will come brother the same way this was a thought process this was generated this was motivated by the devil you see read efficiency 6 12 we read efficiency 2 to read efficiency 6 12 brother efficiency 6 12 efficient 612 you you can read in nepali with that kinaki hami haru ko yuddha sharir ra ragat ko virudha hoina tara pardanta haru ka virudha shakti haru ka virudha vartaman andhakar ka sansarik shasak haru ko virudha ra swargiya sthan haru ma bhayeka dushtai ka आत्मिक सेना आरोप विरुद्ध हो विरुद्ध आत्मिक विरुद्ध आवर फाइट इज वॉट नॉट लिटरल लिटरल फ्लाइट विथ फ्लैश एंड ब्लड वी डोट फाइट विथ ह्यूमन बीइंग्स वी फाइट विथ हुम हुम व्हाट इज दिस वर्स अंधकार एंजल्स आकाश म करेक्ट ना नेपाल इट केम ना आकाश म करेक्ट बदर उडस्पीकरशन गो दे we won't be listening to the class that is the motivation that is the deception the same way he was attacked he used the serpent to do some things especially eat the forbidden fruit immediately the thought would have come ayyo why this serpent is eating and still alive why did god tell us not to eat then he would have told oh really did god tell not to eat ha huh? then she would have told yes 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 correct correct then the same interaction would have happened ah, this is the same way brother okay this is how we understand the bible so in the bible there is a direct language symbolic language we need to understand these languages in the same way then only we will understand the bible perfectly got it brother nehemi brother you got it is it clear for you yes sir i am clear Okay. Any other questions? Any other doubts? I think the sir has got exited. Okay. Any other questions? Any doubts? Okay. Nehemiah brother, no, no questions. Okay. Okay. Good. No questions. Okay. Nehemiah brother, can you offer a prayer? 